Hello everyone, welcome to Vinod Ratinam Tutorials. Today we are going to learn how to handle the checkbox using WebDriver API commands. In previous video, I have already explained about the Firefox driver setup. Please glance it once because I am skipping those steps. In this video, we are going to see how to verify whether the checkbox is displayed or not, enabled or not and a new method comes here is, is selected. This is used to verify whether the checkbox is selected or not and then to select or to unselect we use the click method. For both the actions we use the same method. This is a sample test case. We are going to use the Firefox browser as a prerequisite and let me explain the requirement in the application. We have to navigate to the registration screen of demo QA website. Then we have to verify whether the cricket checkbox is displayed or not, then enabled or not and check the status whether this is selected or not. If this cricket checkbox is not selected, we have to select it and have to verify the status after selecting it at the end we have to unselect this hope you understood the requirement you will get full clarity while coding the first step is to create a new instance for a firefox driver then we have to maximize it and then we have to open the url the next step is we will inspect the checkbox inspect the element and it is always a good practice to inspect the nearby elements also so for the dance reading and cricket if you have seen for the name locator the value is checkbox underscore five for all the three checkbox the name locator and the value remains the same it means that we can't select the name locator if we select by default it will select the first checkbox only and we don't have other locators the final trick is we have to go with the x path and the x path for this just select right click copy x path paste it here we have to code for this x path there is two types of x path one is relative x path another one is absolute x path this is an absolute x path i will post one more video how to make this as a relative x path for time being we will use this value since we are going to do multiple operation on same web element web element cricket checkbox is equal to driver dot find element by dot x path inside this we can give this value just parameterized now we can use the same variable wherever we want instead of mentioning this line again and again as per the requirement the next step is to verify whether the cricket checkbox is displayed or not if cricket checkbox dot is displayed then cricket checkbox is displayed else condition it is not displayed same way if cricket checkbox is dot is enabled then cricket checkbox is enabled else condition cricket checkbox is not enabled so we completed two step the next step is to verify whether the cricket checkbox is selected or not if cricket checkbox dot is selected then we have to pass a message saying that cricket checkbox is selected and of course else condition is not selected as per our requirement if this is not selected we have to select it so it should come in the else condition dot click now as per the execution it will come here and it will check whether this condition is true or false if this is false it means that the checkbox is not selected then it will come for the else condition after it comes it will select it this is how using the conditions only we can check or uncheck the select box as per the requirement i have to verify after select what is the status of it can copy paste this will verify whether the value is selected or not for uncheck the same piece of code with little bit modification if 
cricket checkbox is selected what we have to do is we have to uncheck it dot click same method is used to check and also to uncheck and uh, an output message saying that cricket checkbox is unselected else unable to uncheck the cricket checkbox I have included a uh, wait for three seconds between each statement now we'll execute browser is launched navigated to the URL now it is verifying whether the cricket checkbox is displayed enabled or not and checked or not then if it is not checked it will select it then verify the statement after that it will uncheck it I think the execution is completed we'll see the result file In the results file you can see whether it is checking displayed or not then it is enabled or not both of them passed then it is not selected initially then we are selecting it after that it is checking the status the output message is selected then we are unchecking it hope you got an idea how to code for these scenarios that's the end of today's session in case of any clarification please post your queries in the comment or mail me and don't forget to subscribe to get the notification for new video uploads thanks for watching happy learning